Hello everyone and welcome back to more subterfuge. This time we're taking a look at our my, at uh, my first game and we're going to look at the martyr. Um, so this time I'm playing red, Furiosa there, and my biggest enemy is Egort in the blue, the light blue. And he's just hired a martyr and he's bringing it up to put it on the front line. That's this little stick of dynamite. The Martyr destroys all subs and outposts within Martyr's Blast Radius when participating in combat. Blast Radius is 20% of standard sonar range, and you see that her combat priority is 1. That is the highest. She takes place before anything else happens. So, he's bringing it up to Nautilus, and he has a lot of specialists there. And I think he's looking at Sagan, because I have 84 guys at Sagan, about to get 15 more, plus a security chief. So he wants to blow it up. So what does he do? He loads up a sub with the Martyr and five drillers. So this is my first game. I think this was everyone's first game. And I don't think he really knew what he was doing. <laughs> um, people see the Martyr and see that it blows things up and they get excited. They go, all right, I can go blow up this guy's base. Um, but that's not the best way to use it. And you'll see that, in fact, that was like the worst way <laughs> that he could use it. So my first response actually was to sort of panic. And I almost screwed up um, by evacu... I, my first thought was to evacuate um, Sagan and just let him blow it up and think, oh, no, I, I can't do anything about this. And then I thought, oh, no, I can, I can send my own sub at it to stop it. So I thought, well, I'll do that right now. I'll send a sub right now. Uh, I don't know if it'll let me... No, it won't let me show that. But So I thought about sending a sub right away. But then I saw that he has this pirate here, and the pirate... Uh, can target another sub. When targeting a sub, the pirate travels two times as fast. So I thought if I had sent a sub out immediately, he could have intercepted it with the pirate and it would have been useless. Uh, so I didn't do that either. So then I thought a little more and I realized he's p passing by his own outpost, I'll seek here. And so if I time it just right, can destroy his own outpost with his own martyr. So I don't know why he put five drillers on here. That doesn't do anything. Literally does nothing. Uh, the, the martyr goes first in combat and nothing else really matters. So as soon as it, it is, as soon as it is in combat, it blows up. Uh, so I just sent one driller out and I timed it just right. But I still, you can't quite check what the other person can do. So I, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe this pirate could still intercept my one driller. So I sent backups, and you'll see that I sent two drillers, and I even sent a third one. And it doesn't matter, because he doesn't intercept the first one. And bam! Blew up his own base. And there's my third driller. And, you know, it's three drillers. It took me three drillers to do this. You know, it was nothing. It was no cost to me at all. So even though my driller is just going to get killed by the shields, it doesn't matter. So I blew up his base with his own martyr. Um, and that's... That's going to happen every time. There's, you have no chance of taking out someone's base offensively like that with a martyr. The only, like, the only way it would work is if the other person simply wasn't paying attention to the game. Because this game's on your phone. You might not look at it for a day. If I hadn't looked for a day, then this might have gotten there and blown me up. Uh, but I did look. And it gives you a notification. You know, So, of course, I looked and saw that he had launched a, a martyr. So, and he was basically out of the game. I think he, I think he uh, kind of rage quit at this point when he, he blew up his own base. You know, it's not my fault, man. You, you launched the martyr, not me. So, if the martyr's so easy to stop with one driller, then why would you ever get it? I, I'm trying to think about that. Um, and, well, actually, before I go into that, uh, I just realized, I thought today of another tactic to avoid the pirate would just be to launch two subs right 10 minutes apart you can only launch them 10 minutes apart minimum uh if you launch two subs 10 minutes apart it one driller each he can only possibly hit one of them there's there's no chance to hit them both unless he had two pirates um well that's not entirely fair because it does it moves double speed and then it moves four times as fast to the nearest outpost which would have been all seek so he maybe could have hit both of them but that's unlikely and that would have put his pirate in great risk of getting blown up so anyway, so what, um, what do you do with the Martyr? I think it's best defensively. And one of the things I thought of that you could do is put it on one of your own mines, maybe? Like if he had left it on this mine at Adama, um, 
you essentially set up a mutually assured destruction, right? So when you lose control of a mine, you lose 20% of your score. But if you have a martyr on the mine, it goes first in combat and blows everything up around it. So you would blow up all your own forces, all of the enemy's forces, and the mine without it losing your control because the other guy's drillers never get to it, so they don't assume control. So you would blow up the mine without losing control of it, and you wouldn't lose your 20% score. And I don't think you would lose it if somebody took the destroyed mine because you can still take bases that have been destroyed. I don't think anybody realized that because I don't think anybody goes for that here. It's not there's not really any point to. You can use it as a waypoint, though. I'm pretty sure you can still travel to them. They just don't do anything. Um, yeah, so you can put it up defensively and say, hey, listen, you can come try to take my mine, but you're just going to blow yourself up. And, uh, you know, if you want to blow yourself up, then be my guest. Um, and then you can try to dodge around that as the attacker and say, well, I'll send, you know, 11 guys there, just enough to, to make the, mar the martyr blow up, but not enough to uh, commit to it. But then they can just move the martyr, and then while the martyr's moving, maybe you could jump into attack. I don't know. There's a lot that can go on there. But I think that's the best scenario is to use it defensively, not offensively, at least not like this. Especially do not send it past your own base or something like that will happen. And I've seen that happen in other games too. So, yep, there you go. There's another little trick. Blow up other people's martyrs because they don't know what they're doing. So thanks for watching.